Hey guys, what's up? It's Crew Dog Gamer coming to bring you a video that goes a little bit into the math of the game. A lot of people wonder when they go to a map what fish they should be grinding for for experience or what fish they should be grinding for for money. And understanding your averages whenever you're looking at your fish can really help you out in figuring out what you want to actually fish for. So today we're going to be looking at the four main fish species that people try to catch on San Joaquin Delta. So the four main species that you're going to see people catching or farming on this map are going to be the Chinook Salmon, the Steelhead, the Striped Bass, and the White Sturgeon. So those four fish are going to be the primary farm fish that a lot of people are going for. They're the predatory fish here. And there's only two baits you really need to catch either one of them. And that's Spawn Sacks and Shiners. If you have those two baits, you'll be able to catch all these fish. But the main thing I wanted to look into today, I wanted to catch three of every fish in just standard common fish, not trophies or uniques. Those are a whole different ballpark, and those are going to be outside of the realm of farming. While you may end up catching some, and they get you a lot higher XP and money, they really will skew the average on a lot of the common fish that you're going to be pulling out. So today we're just looking at common fish. So we will start with the Chinook Salmon. The Chinook Salmon can commonly be caught over by the dam around the rock formations using spawn sacks, and they come in common and trophy varieties. So no uniques here, they don't get you the extra high XP. But when we're looking at what they make you as far as money per fish, you're gonna be making $45.38 per pound on average. The fish I averaged out weighed 45.38 pounds, 45.3676 pounds, and 45.387 pounds. So, those were the three averages I put together to get 45.38, and you're also going to be looking at making 8.69 XP per pound. So they're great for the money, really mid-range for the money, and on the higher range for your XP, they actually came in the highest. The Chinook Salmon will make you the highest amount of XP, but one thing I do want to note is that their lower end fish that are around the 13, 14 pound range actually make you a fair amount lower. Uh, as opposed to something like the sturgeon where it's pretty consistently above 8. You will catch some Chinook salmon that are below 8 XP per fish, uh, but they're still in the high 7s. So the second fish we'll look at is the steelhead. This one actually kind of surprised me when it came in for money-wise. Uh, the steelhead is going to be making you $54.44 per pound. That is blowing every other fish out of the water by around 9 pounds. It actually blows the sturgeon out of the water by... Around nine dollars a pound. Uh, the fish I caught averaged out to being 54.48, 54.40, and 54.44 dollars per pound, and they make you a ton of money. So if you're one of the people with a smaller keep net, say you have like a 110 pound keep net, I would say that the steelhead are a much better option per pound than going for something like sturgeon or stripers. Uh, and these are a great money farming fish. Now when it comes to XP. They still come in quite high. They're actually the second highest. The steelhead will give you 8.58 XP per pound. Three fish I averaged out were 7.14, 8.83, and 9.78. So the bigger steelhead obviously give you a good bit more XP, but it seems like they scale nicely. They scale about the same as the Chinook. But uh, just be aware that you can get under 8 XP. So if you're looking for XP, uh, it's the second best, but not the most consistent, especially if you're catching a bunch of smaller common steelhead. But it does have trophy and unique, so you can definitely get a large amount of XP off of them. So, moving on to the striped bass. The striped bass actually kind of surprised me. I would think that a, a trophy sport fish like this would really up it a little bit more than it does. But one thing I have noticed is you do catch a lot more trophy striped bass than any other trophy fish. So if you're looking to get trophies, I would say striped bass is probably the best. Money-wise, it is actually the lowest. The stripers give you $36.29 per pound on average. That's what I averaged out with my three fish at 36.285, 36.26, and 36.212. So they're not <laughs> they're not the best money makers. Um if you have a smaller keep net, I would still recommend you going for Steelhead or Chinook. But stay away from the Stripers unless you're uh, just really into catching them. XP-wise, they're not great either. They will make you 4.83 XP per pound. The three fish I got were pretty much all exactly 4.83. Um, 
with a little bit of variation in the third digit. So if you're looking to make money, they're not great. And if you're looking to get XP, they're not great either. But if you're just looking for a trophy or unique to hang up, then they might be what you're looking for. So now on to the big bad boy of San Joaquin Delta. This is a white sturgeon. Only comes in common. It's the only one that does only come in common. And it is a very popular fish, mostly for the weight and for the guys with the large keep nets. You're able to fill your keep net a lot faster than trying to farm steelhead or chinook or stripers. So a lot of people fish for these things. They do give you a ton of XP at once. You usually see guys getting over 1500 XP every single sturgeon they catch. So it's a lot less time, a lot more efficient for the higher level guys to be fishing for these things. But the numbers kind of surprised me when I did them on this. Pretty much all the sturgeon came in at $46.71 per pound. So we ended up getting $46.71 for the average, one of them coming in at $46.72. So the money was definitely not as good as I thought it was uh, for the sturgeon. The XP was good. It ranked third out of the... Uh, four fish, which the stripers were so unbelievably low that it was ridiculous. However, you know, all the fish still come in averaging above 8 XP per pound per fish. And the sturgeon actually came in measuring at 8.213, so about 0.3 lower than the steelhead and about 0.4 lower than the chinook. Uh, the three I caught ended up coming in at 8.3 XP per pound, 8.17, and another 8.3. Seven. So if you're a higher level guy, they're much more efficient for you. If you're a low level guy, maybe stay away from them. So just to close out the test and let you guys know what the uh, consistent was in all this, I use the same rod and same reel like I'm sure a lot of people will be doing whenever they're trying to farm fish. Uh, usually I try to have three either really similar or the same rods in my rod holder when I'm doing a farm session. So I use the Cat Boxer 710 with underspin 5500. Now, on higher level fish, it's definitely going to give me a, a bit of an advantage because I'm still going to get at least regular XP, if not a little bit of boost SP, XP. But I wanted to make sure I used the same rod and reel uh, the entire time I was doing this just to get a good average on it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you're going to be able to take this knowledge and be able to go out and... Uh, do something with it. Hopefully be able to farm the fish for what you're looking for. Just to give you guys the rankings again for money, we had Steelhead being the best. Sturgeon coming in at a close second. Chinook coming in just a little bit lower and Stripers being the lowest. And for XP, we had our Chinook coming in at the highest. Steelhead coming in just beneath it. Sturgeon coming in just beneath that. And Stripers being way down at the bottom. So hopefully you guys can take this and, and do something you want to do with it. And hopefully you catch a ton of fish. See you guys later.